Hello, my name is Michael Dotto from Hereford High School. To my right is Caitlin. To my left is John Michael. To my left shoulder is Blake. And my right shoulder is Charlie. Three years ago, I got an email from my supervisor about this competition that was being started uh, called DCEVGP. And I went to a meeting down in Washington, D.C., and it sounded like a really neat opportunity for the kids because one of the things we try to do in the tech ed department is really motivate kids to get involved in STEM-related activities and STEM-related careers. And I saw this as a big project that covered so many different areas of uh, STEM as far as applying the math, the physics behind the uh, cars and how they're going around the track, getting into material science of what material is best for the vehicles, talking about batteries and electronics. So it just seemed like a really neat competition. So then we participated with a core group of students in the uh, first competition down at National Harbor. And from then it was a, uh, a big hit in the school. But one of the things I thought was really neat was, so this competition is taking place at the end of the school year for the seniors. I would have seniors that were coming in at 6.30 in the morning to work on the car uh, three years ago because they wanted to get this car running and they actually left graduation practice the one day when they heard the car was running because they were so excited to come down and see the car actually running for us. So it's just a great opportunity to get the kids interested in a lot of different areas of engineering and uh, STEM related careers. Uh, hi, my name is Caitlin Turdy. I'm a part of our team. Um, next year, I'd really enjoy seeing us get a lot of like, younger kids, not only freshmen and sophomores, because Right now, we have a core base group that's juniors and seniors, but I'd like to start seeing us like go down to the middle schools and show them what tech ed's really about and get them involved before they come into high school so that when they're in high school, they have something to look forward to that's like going to bring them towards technology and science and math that's actually like really fun to do. Because this year, the car has been an amazing opportunity for us to realize like how state of math and physics is involved in driving the car and the way the electricity so I think next year, one of our biggest things is going to be getting more students involved, not just in the car, but tech ed completely. Hi, my name is Charles Frazier, and I heard about the electric car through my engineering class I took at Hereford High. I have always enjoyed engineering as a hobby, or, and I've contemplated actually going into an engineering, possibly mechanical engineering course when I get into college. Um, through my engineering class, I found this electric car. We started working on it a little bit, fixing up the old one. And throughout the year, we got progressively more and more in depth with the newer one. And through this, I found my calling. I found that I really want to be an engineer. That, and that sparked my imagination into what we could do to fix this car. I saw where we were going. I helped fix a couple things that didn't go as well planned with the car that could have been better. And I found a bunch of schools through this car, looking at other schools that liked it and where people who worked on this went for a, an engineering degree. I love this program so much. I think it's a great program, and I think a lot of kids should be able to take part in this. Hello, I'm John Michael Seitz. I go to Hereford High School, and I have become very enthusiastic in the electric car enthralled in all the different aspects that it represents of STEM, the mathematics that you have to apply to the motions of it and going around the different turns, the apexes of the turns, and about weight distribution, along with the electronics, all the different uh, voltages that you have to do and the different wire gauges and how you have to make sure to not fry a system based on too much power or making sure there are no shorts from the wires being grounded. And I hope next year to have a lot more students to be engaged in what I've been able to do this year so that when I graduate, we'll be able to continue the electric car for many years. Thank you, sponsors.